Hello guys, it's Michael here and welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be repatting two of my newly purchased Oncidium Orchid seedlings from Golden Bloom Orchids. Similar to my previous repatting video wherein I feature my Dendrobium Orchids, I will also be sharing the step-by-step -step methods and the materials that I will be using, most importantly, the media. When we say media or medium, it can either be charcoal, sphagnum moss, coconut husk, and hydroton or like a ball, which is na aking gagamitin. Kaya tara, samahan nyo ako. These are my two different Oncidium seedling varieties, and the size is quite big. The first variety is a bit lush and healthy. The media they used is coconut husk. The name of this Oncidium is Royal Robe with Reddish Color. This is the second variety. Compared to the first one, the pseudo bulbs are not that numerous but it looks healthy as well. The ID is Charles Fitch Izumi and the color is pink. Okay, let's start. As to the medium, again, I will be using hydroton or like a balls since this is not prone to rotting which causes different diseases. We can also use big chunks of bark chips together with the Lyca balls, but for me, small bark chips as top layer will be enough. And of course, our hydrogen peroxide as our cleanser. And we should not forget our fertilizers, the food of our orchids. I am using the 14-14-14 Osmocoat or Controlled Release Fertilizer. This will be the food of our orchids for 3 months and after that you need to reapply. I bought this online here in the Philippines and I will share the link in the description box. I also be using plastic pots for this one. To cleanse the seedlings, I am going to spray with the hydrogen peroxide sa lahat ng ugat. Or pwede ding gumamit ng clean water sa paglilinis. Yung mga plastic pots na aking gagamitin, I cleaned and washed them before using, though may makikita kayong white spots, it is because yung mga fertilizer residue. And now, we are ready to put the hydroton or Lyca balls in the pot. And about an half full, ilagay yung seedlings and saka ilagay yung ibang hydroton. And as top layer is the small bark chips which will help water retention. Then add the controlled release fertilizers on the side. After which, spray with water. And there, 
I'm done with the first one and we'll do the last seedling. For the second one, I will be putting coconut husk as a support para hindi madaling mag-move when watering so that the roots will easily to grow. And after putting the coconut husk, we will repeat the process of repotting. And there you have it guys, the seedlings are now beautifully repotted and hoping they will grow healthy and I'm so excited to see when they bloom. Thank you so much guys for watching and please continue supporting by subscribing and clicking the notification bell for more updates and see you on the next one. Bye-bye!